Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Steve Woody and I am the founder of Online Mastery Limited. Now the purpose of this video today is because on the build up to my book launch, I started reviewing websites. It was a way to position myself and to get some exposure building up to the launch of my book. So in doing so, the first review session that I did was a mammoth one. It was three and a half hours long. I reviewed over 42 websites and I saw consistent things over and over again, I saw the same things. And again, recently in a Facebook group, I did another sister, uh, set of reviews and I've done over about 75 websites now in the last couple of weeks that I've reviewed. And I won't say all of them, but I would say about 75% of the websites that I have reviewed are missing analytics. They're not tracking data on their website. And to me, that's crazy. If you've got a website, you need to know who's visiting the website and what they're doing whilst they're on it. Now, a few people have got Google Analytics set up, and what will happen is they'll, they'll set it up, but then when I ask them how it's going, they haven't got a clue. They've never tested it, they just have it. And so, what I really want to do now is just take you through a very brief setup. I'm going to show you how I set up my conversion tracking, and how you can do the same, and then how to monitor it. Because at the end of the day, if you've got something on your website, you need to know if it's working or not. There's no point just having something and not making it successful. It's just a waste of time. So if you're going to get into building a business online and if you're going to get into building a website and you're going to have some sort of a funnel that does something and you're going to have a journey for people to go on, like a customer journey, then you need to know where people are on that journey. You need to know how far people are getting through it, if they're finishing, if not, why not? And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to track that process. So to do that, I have three tools that I use. Very, very simple. I have Google Analytics, I have a system called Hotjar, and I use Facebook. Now, Facebook, I use the tracking pixel and the conversion pixel. Google Analytics, I use the tracking, and I use um, the goals so that I can track the goals. And Hotjar, I use for creating a funnel and a heat map. But today, we're going to do a funnel in Hotjar. We're going to set up a goal in Google Analytics, and we're going to set up a tracking and a conversion pixel in Facebook. That's the outcome of this video. So let's get started. This is my book, and you can reach it by going to either planyourwebsite.co.uk, which redirects through to this page here. And the reason I'm sharing that is because I'm going to create this funnel. Um, so I'm going to take this link, because this is the first page that people land on. This is part of my opt-in sequence, and it is a free gift. And it is exactly what it says it should be. It's a free gift, no details, no name, no email. I just want to give people a copy of my book. So we come in here and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to call this book gift. Purchase sequence. So I know what it is. And step one is going to be the free gift. Well, actually, the sorry, first one is going to be landing page because that's what that is. That's a landing page. So it's going to be exact match of that URL. So I've put this in now. So this is in Hotjar. I'm in the funnel setup. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the process. So I click here for my free gift. It then takes me through where people get the first chapter. Now, this is embedded on a WordPress page. And the reason I've done that, the reason I've embedded it within my website is so that I can still track. Because if it was just a PDF download, then I wouldn't be able to track. Also, another reason I have this on here is because this is quite a long chapter. And as people are reading through this chapter, they're on my website. So it's going to really help my bounce rate and make it quite low because people are going to be on here for quite a long time reading. So I like the idea of that. So that was one of the reasons why I did this. So this is going to be the free gift. And again, we're going to do an exact match. So now we can see that they land on my free gift and then they come through to the first chapter. Now, once they've read the first chapter, if they scroll all the way to the very bottom, it says, would you like to know more? This is a free gift. It was set up specifically, as you can see, and there's a link. So I want to know at the bottom, are people clicking through to go to plan your website? Which if they go here, will take them to book. So they've gone free gift. Then they've come through to the actual gift itself. And now they're coming back to book. So you can see the process. So I'm going to add another step. This is the book sales page. It's very, very simple. There's nothing really in it. It's not really a salesy page as such, but that's going to be there. And so what will happen as they come through here, now they're here, they'll click to order. So they're taken to the checkout page. 
Now, after the checkout page, I know that they'll be redirected to a thank you page. So what I'll do now is just save this so that we've got the entire process. Now, I, I am well aware that I'm showing you this process. And do you know what? If you, if you want to try and sort of go to these places and skip the process, you can. But I urge you to look at it because when you look at it, you get to see the journey. And by seeing the journey, you can see how I'm tracking it. So now I've done that, I'm going to create the funnel, save that. And what that's going to do is going to take a minute to set up. So whilst that's doing that, we're going to go over to Google Analytics. Now in Google Analytics, I'm in admin, I'm in goals, and I'm going to take one of my old tests that I was running, and I'm going to reset it now. So when people place an order, that's, that's the outcome here. Uh, and so where is the order going to be? How am I going to know if they've placed an order? So again, we know it's thank you page. So that's going to be the destination. The value of the book at the moment is £10 online. And I want to create a funnel. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing here. So we're going to have a landing page where people can land. And we're going to go through exactly the same process. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because it's, it's good to have two forms of tracking because you can test them against each other. No tracking is 100%. So it's really good for the point of knowing what works and knowing what doesn't. So now we have this, we come back through again. We have the first chapter, add another step, and we have the sales page. And then we know we're going to go to the check out. So the whole purpose of this now is that you can see exactly where everyone's going to be. And then we've got the thank you page, which we know about, which is the destination it's in goal. So uh, these are all required in the process. So to verify the goal. So now we can see how often this goal had been converted based on data from the last seven days. Well, I know that it wouldn't have been because I haven't done anything with this yet. This is quite new. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to set that to be on. So we now have our goal. We're tracking our goals. We can go back to our analytics now. We can test that. We can also come back here, refresh this screen, and we know this is now set up. So I can view the funnel. Now, because I, I've only just introduced step two here, this is quite new, I can see that at the moment, no one's actually got to step two. That's because step two doesn't technically, it's only just been created. It hasn't existed before this. So it's showing me now that out of 64 sessions that I'm recording here in this last um, uh, report, reporting period, I can see that 100% have dropped off. What I'll see is if I go through and I'll just show you a different funnel. If I use one like a pre-sale funnel, we can see what's happened here. So out of 106 people in this reporting session, I can see 51 made it to the checkout page and only two people checked out. And that's fine, a 1.3% conversion. See, I can see what's happening. So I'd have 159 people, I'm getting about a 1.3% conversion. So now I know how many people I need to target to sell a book. Okay, so for every, for every 150 sessions that I have, okay, for every 150 people, and let's just round it up and say 200 people. So one in 100 are buying my book. So can you see how this is really valuable to know? So now I know when I'm doing my targeting, I know I need to reach 100 people to sell one book. And that's fine. This is I'm, I've literally just launched you my book now. So this whole process, all these figures, they're brand new. And I'm not ashamed to show them or share them with you because I want you to see the process when you're getting set up, when you're starting. I want you to understand what it is you should be doing. Because by tracking this, you can find out what works. If you say, oh, okay, no one's making it to my checkout page, then there's obviously something wrong with the landing page. And you can adjust that and you can tweak it to change it to make it better. So now we've got Hotjar, we've got Google Analytics. The next thing we need to come do is come across to Facebook. Now on Facebook, uh, you need to go into your account. So on the right hand side here where it says manage accounts, if it doesn't say that, you need to create an advert first and then it will give you this screen. What we're then going to do is under tools, it says conversion tracking. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to create a conversion pixel. Okay, so the conversion pixel, we can have different conversion pixels and we can create a new one. So I'm going to create a new one here and this is for checkouts. You can have add to basket pages, whatever you want to do. We're going to have checkouts. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say 
book purchase. Okay, so I'm going to create this pixel. So now what I know is I've done this, I can view this pixel code. So now I need to put this on my thank you page. And the way I do that is I have one bit of script. I have one bit of script installed on my website and it's called Google Tag Manager. Okay, now Google Tag Manager, what that allows me to do is I can go into my account, which I'm just going to do here, and I can add as many new tags as I like. And it will fire them from the one place. So there's one bit of script and that holds all of these scripts. So I come in and click a new tag. It's custom HTML and I put in my script. It's as simple as that. What's it called? Uh, Facebook conversion book sale. So I know what it is. Then I click continue and it asks me where do I want to fire this page? Well, it's only on some pages. And I know the page I want it to be on because it's going to be the thank you page after people have purchased a book. So it's going to be this thanks page. Oh, let me just go back there and grab that link. So I've got the actual, make sure I've got, I always copy the link so I know I've got the right links. Okay, so we're going to say new page here, new trigger, and this is going to be book purchase successful. Okay, so page URL is going to match, and that is going to be this page here. Okay, we're going to OK that, and it's ticked. So now I know it's going to fire on that page. I can create this tag. Okay, so now if I'm on the thanks page and I look here, I can see that I've already got a conversion pixel and a custom audience pixel set up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to publish this. By publishing this now, it's going to, because it's already hooked up to my site, I don't need to go in and edit any more code on my site. I don't need to do anything like that. But I can refresh this page and it's going to go from two, as you can see, two tracking pixels. Now there's three. So as you can see, I've got a new uh, conversion pixel. So there's a custom audience pixel, two conversions. So I'm tracking everything. I know when people land on this page and I also know when people convert. What that means is that if people have converted and bought the book, I can now target them with the next step in my process. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want, I've got a custom audience, which I'm going to take you through quickly as well. So if I go into um, tools and audience, what I can do now is I can actually set up a, uh, create a custom audience. And when I do that, I want website traffic. I'm going to do it in the last 180 days. Okay, now anyone that visits a specific page on my website and the URL contains. So I want to know what that's going to contain. So I can set that up so that anyone that comes through my book process, and what I'm going to do here is actually I'm going to have book free gift. Okay, because this is the first page they're going to land on in that process. So from landing on that first page, I want to track them. So I'm going to put in URL contains. So I'm going to put URL equals. It's this URL. So when people are here, I'm going to put shown interest in free gift book so now i know who they are create this custom audience okay now again that's going to give me my tracking pixel so with my tracking pixel which is already in there i'm now getting this information okay because it's already set up and i have the tracking pixel already installed on the site i don't need to install it again i've just set up a new custom audience so anyone that lands on that page i'm going to get that information so now I can target, so if they land on that page but they don't convert, so for example, if I get them into this audience and I find out that they've not converted and bought the book, I can send them adverts on Facebook for the book. I can do the same thing in Google AdWords, and the whole purpose of this is this is how we start to target, specifically, people who are showing an interest in you. We're not just leaving it up to chance, we're actually tracking the data, we know what works, we're tracking it in Hotjar, and this isn't the only tracking we can do. We've also got heat maps. So for example, I can come onto here and I can view a heat map of my home page and I can see where everybody's clicking on my page and I get the idea. So I know the people that want to look at training, you know, it's getting a lot of clicks. I know that people are filling in their details and what's going on. And this is an old site, but I'm just using it as an example. That I can see exactly where people are clicking and what's happening. Okay, so this is just a really good idea of knowing what works on your website, getting that data, tracking that data, and then not just having it, but using it. Using it to find out what works, what doesn't, and then adjusting your website to hopefully improve your bottom line, increase your conversions, get more money so that you can serve more people. Okay, I hope this video has helped you.
And if you've got any questions, absolutely anything at all, just go over to onlinemastery.co.uk. You'll find out on the site, there's gonna be a little button in the bottom right there. Just click it out, send me a message, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you.